52 years ago to the day a man first landed on the moon, billionaire and Amazon founder Jeff Bezos blasts off into a new frontier, a historic flight for space tourism. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. I'm Brooke Cass. And I'm Ken Molestina. Inside the Blue Origin New Shepard spacecraft, a hand-picked group of four, including Bezos, his brother Mark, 82-year-old aviation trailblazer Wally Funk, and Oliver Damon, an 18-year-old Dutch student. The four returned safely following the 10-minute flight. After touching down, Bezos exclaimed, best day yeah. ever. Our very own Doug Dunbar witnessed the launch. He has more from the town of Van Horn near the Blue Origin entrance. For just over 10 minutes this morning, Jeff Bezos was not the richest person on the planet. That's because he was nowhere near it. From just inside the gates here at Blue Origin and Launch Site 1, Bezos and his three guests captured the attention of a nation as well as the world. It's falling down! Yeah! Yeah! Excitement, optimism, and inspiration. Space watchers just outside the Blue Origin Launch Complex were treated to all three this morning. It's an experience for uh, just my generation the, uh, and the past generation and like the past generations. It, it is driving us towards the future. As astronauts Bezos, Damien and Funk rocketed skyward, the images were stunning. The moment for many was an opportunity to share in something special again. Let's celebrate with each other. And you know, the community coming together, it's a beautiful thing as well. Yeah. All kinds of um, different races here celebrating in harmonious ways. You know, it's beautiful. Yeah. Why not? Traveling three times the speed of sound, New Shepard then launched the capsule into three blissful minutes of weightlessness. Going above the Carmen line, recognized around the world as the beginning of space. What did all of this feel like? It felt so normal. It felt so like almost like we were as humans evolved to be in that environment, which I know is impossible, but it felt so serene and peaceful and the floating. It's actually much nicer than being in full one gravity. No doubt the same feeling for North Texan and former Mercury 13 space program member Wally Funk. I've been waiting a long time <laughs> to finally get it up there. And I've done a lot of astronaut training through the world, Russia, America, and I could always beat the guys on what <laughs> they were doing because I was always stronger and I've always done everything on my own. A week ago in her living room, aviation legend Wally Funk showed me what she planned to do when she exited the capsule today. But today, now a space legend, she shared that joy with the world and at 82 becomes a record holder as the oldest person ever to go to space. No matter the congratulations or criticisms, for Bezos, today's successful launch was a national moment, an opportunity to put daily life into perspective with a view from over 62 miles above our Earth. The atmosphere is so gigantic. You know, we're these tiny little things and the planet, the atmosphere is so big, but when you get up above it, what you see is it's actually incredibly thin. It's this tiny little fragile thing. And as we move about the planet, we're damaging it. At the Blue Origin launch site in West Texas, I'm Doug Dunbar, CBS 11 News. Just such a cool moment. You know, NASA reacted to the successful launch on Twitter, setting its congratulations to Blue Origin. They said, quote, we look forward to future flights with researchers and NASA supported technology payloads aboard.